What's up everybody? My name is Alkai. I'm a competitive powerlifter here at Southside Fitness. Um, today is bench day and I wanted to go over the basics of what we do for a good proper handoff and for proper spotting as a back spotter on the bench press. So key things that I'm looking for in my spotter is stability and evenness across the bar. So what I look for is not the over under technique, but what I want is the double overhand. So when we're doing the palms up grip, let's say when we're getting a little bit of a handoff, that palms up grip is gonna get a little bit more power. So that bar is gonna be a little bit uneven for your lifter. So what we're looking for here is a good palms down grip on the inside of the bench presser's hands. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So me and Kai have been lifting together for a long time. We've discussed the way he likes a spotter to work with him and the what I need to do. Check the weights to make sure they're equal so they're not imbalanced or hurting a lifter. Kai's gonna set up right now and I'm gonna spot him. All right, everybody, so for I press 485, I wanted to explain what the uh, significance of side spotters is. So as we climb weight on the bar, obviously the top spot in the back is gonna be super important, especially for the handoff, but there's so many variables that can go into what's going on. So what I'm looking for is a good stable side spot. So what we need to have is for these guys, so we got Bossa and Jake to spot properly from the side. We're looking for one hand to be under the plates and one hand to be near the bar. So if I do see any indication of a down movement, they'll know exactly when to take it off my chest or pull it from me and re-rack it into the, uh, into the J-hooks here. So the only one that should be touching the bar is the main spotter back here. The side are just for support. If they touch early, it can knock them off balance. It can cause injury. So this is the main spotter right here on a three-man spot. 